Hi everybody, today we are going to learn how to draw a pumpkin. So the first thing we want to do is make sure our paper is turned horizontal, which is side to side, so not up and down, side to side like this. Then we want to make sure that we leave some space at the top in the middle of our paper. This is where we will start drawing our first line. Now first, I want you to practice drawing a curved line like I'm doing with your hand. So you see, I'm not touching the crayon to the paper. I'm just holding it slightly above, and I'm practicing drawing that line so that when I actually draw it, my hands are ready and they know what to do. This is very helpful. Then I'm going to draw that curved line. So it kind of looks like a C. Now it's okay if yours looks different than mine. Pumpkins come in all rounded shapes, but I do want you to make your pumpkin big. So I don't wanna see a small pumpkin because we will be filling these with designs and we need a lot of space to work with. Now I'm going to go to the top where I started my line and I'm going to draw a curved line that goes the other way. And then I have my pumpkin. So now I'm going to add a stem. So I'll go to the top and I'll draw a line that goes up. It can be slightly diagonal or diagonal. It could even be curved. And then I draw a line that goes over, a horizontal line, and then down. So it's kind of like a rectangle that's kind of pinched. And then I draw a line to close it. I made that kind of curved. Now let's draw the lines on the pumpkin. I'm going to call these sections, which means kind of a piece. So I'm going to follow that curved line, but draw on the inside like that. So I start at the top, and then I end at the bottom. And the curved line kind of follows the one on the outside. So I went on the left side, then on the right side, then I'll go again on the left side, and then one more time on the right side. So if you want to practice holding your hand above to draw those first, I think that would be a great idea. So now I have my outlined pumpkin. Now the fun part, I get to fill my pumpkin with designs. So I'll start at the top on that stem and I'm going to just draw some vertical lines to fill that. Now I'm going to just show you guys some ideas of designs you could do. You guys can do whatever you want. I just want you to be thinking about variety. So variety is basically different, okay? So I want to see different lines, different shapes, and different colors. So I am drawing zigzag lines across one of my sections. I'm starting with one color and line, and then I'm going back in and filling them with other lines. So this is a good way to do a pattern, but you can also do it your own way. But it just saves some time if we just do one color at a time and then go back in and fill things. But that's up to you too. As you can see, I am using the secondary colors for this first pattern. I want you guys to, on your pumpkin, have one section, at least, that uses the secondary colors and one section that uses the primary colors. The other sections can be your choice of colors. If you would like to um, come up with your own color schemes, that is great. But I want you guys to think about different shapes and lines that you could use to create interesting patterns in each of the sections of the pumpkin. Please take your time with these and do your very best work. So if you draw outlines of shapes, a great thing to do to make your work look more finished is to fill those in. So you can see I'm doing nice even coloring. And I'm working pretty fast so that you guys have more work time. But I want you guys to take your time and do nice work. So here you can see I'm using the primary colors. Now I'm making a pattern that's kind of random, but so it's kind of scattered around, but it still uses only red triangles, 
blue circles, and yellow squares. Again, your patterns can look different, but I do want you to have one section that uses only secondary colors and one that uses primary colors. You could do the rainbow, whatever you want. Just take your time to make interesting patterns. One last fun thing you can do is you can add the vines. So sometimes you might see pumpkins have these curly little vines which are fun. So that curly line is that loopy line we learned. I'm making some go on top of my pumpkin, some kind of go over it. You can do this however you want, or you can choose to leave them out. I hope you guys have fun and enjoy making your pumpkins.